Thank you all for having uh, myself, uh, David Quadro. I'm with, I represent Marvin and Wind and Door Distributors, Super Enterprises. We're effectively the Marvin support and, and product information uh, specialists in this region of the country. Eric Olmstead is our local uh, dealer at Lewis, Delaware. Uh, he, we've done a number of installations, uh, and you, as you've heard earlier in presentations, your building has some unique uh, uh, aesthetics uh, considerations. Um, you have to know that each product that's been presented, uh, the, they are, everyone is very professional in what's being offered, and the specification is a challenging uh, standard of which has been written. Uh, what we can do, uh, why we are recommending uh, our particular product, we're, we're looking at the, uh, this is a corner cut sample, which is kind of a tough thing to figure with. You can imagine a small corner slice of a door. It's a class yeah. ultimate sliding French door. Now, the difference we're going to have, you notice, is we, what you've seen previously is you've had more glass, uh, less frame. An advantage we offer is an aesthetic appearance that can be uh, a choice. Anything, everything so far I've heard has been different, slightly various variation from what's existing. Now that's important because it's aging. Everything has moved in, in a um, improved installation methodology as well as finishes and product. So that's where you're gonna always be seeing something different, just like there's never the same car. Uh, every year they're constantly moving. Marvin is a company that's 100 years old. Uh, they've uh, been doing coastal, uh, school, uh, university buildings, um, office buildings, condos uh, throughout our particular coverage area is Long Island, New York City, North Jersey, uh, Jersey Shore, and of course Sandy last year educated everybody to what Mother Nature can uh, throw at us. So we were fortunate in Delaware to not get uh, what North Jersey got. Yes. Now, the, um, so what we're recommending is a sliding panel door be an XO operation, and then adjoining that would be a, a three panel fixed, depending on the particular configuration of each unit. Uh, the, uh, is, uh, again, the reason what we offer is an aesthetic. You have a French door look. It's uh, the advantage we newly have offering and the French door, sliding door, can also accommodate a blind uh, to the interior, which allows you to operate your door and yet have privacy. Uh, you can draw the blind from the top or the bottom, and it also offers a screen. It's part of the door. It's, it's, that would be an additional. Yeah, that would be an additional okay. feature. It's a separate that, that's available. But it, it's yeah. not within the glass. No, not within the glass. The advantage of that is it's serviceability. Uh, if there's an issue, it can be ordered. The door has to be ordered to prep for that, but that can be ordered or supplied or not, depending on what economy you know, wants. You know, what's, but it's probably wise to the building to kind of make a unified decision of what the parents uh, is going to be. It's a wooden door. It is a wood door, it, and it's clad on the exterior. <laughs> Um, here's, I'm just going to show and tell so you understand what exactly, we don't have a kind or finish, I'll take that, pass that around, that's the extruded aluminum, so it's not roll form, it's actually an extruded aluminum pulled through a die, it's, it's pre-treated and then it gets a treatment, and it's a kind or finish, which is 2605-11, you've heard uh, other products previously was a, 20, was a kind or finish also, Marvin's warranty on the Kynar finish is 20 year. Coastally, it's a 10 year. No, there's no considerations or concerns about people who have, have to wash it quarterly or uh, every six months, every year. But we do encourage you to inspect the units and make sure that things are okay. Um, I'm sorry, you said coastally it's 10 years. Does that mean we get a 10 year warranty or a 20 year? You get it's a 20 year warranty on the finish for, for, for performance, correct? So the finish, not the product. Uh, no, the, yeah, the product itself is a 10-year warranty. The finish is coat for a coastal condition such as this. It's 10-year, and then we have a 10-year, um, uh, yeah, 20-year on the glass against seal, uh, seal failure. 
Yeah. 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 You've confused me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is the finish ten yeah. years or twenty years? It's ten years. So it's right. Yeah. You're within one mile of the beach. It's a ten year, ten year more. Twenty years for the finish. No, no. It's no. ten years for the finish. Ten years for the twenty years for the glazing. Correct. Yeah, I'll get into all that, so we'll run down. So apologize for clarification. The finish itself, the Connor finish, is because of the coastal condition and sand and, and harsh environment. It's a 10-year uh, warranty on that finish. The glazing, the glass, is 20-year warranty, and the general unit itself is a 10-year warranty. <clears throat> How does you, your your recommended product safety satisfy the requirements detailed? We are a light commercial with DP40 rated. Um, the standard that is set in the spec is really, uh, it's, it's virtually almost like a solid wall standard. So the spec, one of the things I'm gonna leave with you all is to help to understand design pressure ratings is the, uh, we have, we developed a small um, spreadsheet that relates for example, at a design pressure 40, which our unit is, that tests at six pounds per square at foot, uh, which is the equivalent of eight inches of rain per hour at a wind speed of 48 miles an hour. Now that's sustained, not burst, that's sustained. So we effectively can withstand 150 some miles an hour wind um, and we have, we can perform that way because of the design of the sill is raised. Our sill height is a one and a half inch from the finished floor. Um, we are from a reducing energy cost by its nature, the wood aluminum clad product is thermally broken already. You don't have transfer, you don't have aluminum to aluminum to the interior, which is what you have right now existing you have a high rate of thermal transfer. Uh, so you have a natural uh, thermal break with that and we are energy certified, energy star certified. So um, if you place the whole that water and there's only an inch and a half high, that's all you've got in there to hold the water being forced in by wind. That's our, it, we have, yes, we, with our uh, threshold system is an inch and a half high. The door on the installation would be set into a stainless steel, Eric will get into the install, but it will be set into a stainless steel pan. The combination of, you have to understand, your installation and the product have to be rated. Uh, just product alone should, you know, the installation must meet your... Uh, so we're not seeing the pan? No, you don't see the no. pan for the installation, correct. That goes so on top the, of the pan. No, it, the, the door right. gets set into the pan. Right. So if the water gets into the pan, what happens? It's, it weeps to the outside. Are so there any weep holes on the inside of the unit? The door unit itself, no. It's, it is designed with, it, it, with the, when we have a design pressure test, when you're, when you get a wind swirl and, or driven rain, what we're saying is that it will withstand, for example, at a DP40, which our product is tested at, it'll withstand, uh, at six pounds per square inch, or square foot, eight inches of equivalent rain per hour, which is daily. That. But my question was, are there weep holes on the inside of the unit? Uh, no, the no. sill's not weep. No. Right. The sill has none, and the door has none. Correct. It's a different design than an all aluminum Because product. basically, when you get a lot of sustained rain, right. weep holes just hold water. Yep. So they're designed, it. it's designed to shed water away, yep, that's the idea. Okay. If, if I can just read it up along that line, what we have, our glass is actually in fact resealed. It's, it's set in the frame, so the sash, if you can call the door panel a sash, and frame are factory installed and assembled. And stuff goes underneath the bottom part? Goes Correct, there would be a flashing that would be, you know, on installation would go underneath here. And I'll, I'll expand on that further as we get. That glass is replaceable without replacing the wood, right? It can be. Typically the panel, the easiest break. way to do it right. is, to get the, is to get a new panel. Let's get the whole panel. The, re the, re yeah. the reason why we suggest, recommend doing that rather than having a local glazing <coughs> company change it out is one, you can compromise the seal when in the field when you're doing it. And so what will happen if it's a warranty failure, you know if that door, uh, if there's a seal, glass seal failure, year 19, it's not prorated, we will replace, the, you know, the, the cost of the glass, it'll be fully replaced, the, the labor of getting the, the door panel replaced isn't included, but the uh, door 
and it will be replaced. So, so that you you maintain you basically you don't have to worry about somebody coming out and we, we give we ship you a piece of glass and say good luck with it. You know, we're actually gonna we should recommend replacing the full panel. So these panels are made so they interlock together when you put them together, right? Exactly. So uh, keep, to keep moving on the questions, I just want to follow kind of what the what we were given as guidelines. Uh, so how does designing a product work to prevent water leakage? It's, it's a combination of design and of the product and installation. Uh, the top of the screen, uh, the screen door has a, uh, is to the exterior and it's actually top hung. A little different than the other designs you've heard. The advantage of top hung, your rollers aren't exposed to the weather. They're stainless steel. So what happens is, uh, uh, coastally what you're subjected to is wind driven sand. Really, is your biggest problem. Like you close the doors. Yeah, slide. exactly. So the advantage is you can literally, because they're top hung, they don't get debris, they don't get the sand clogging, they tend to roll and last longer. Your screen's warranty for 10 years, just like the door unit itself. Um, the uh, during the removal of existing windows, actually, I think Eric um, will can further ask questions on this, but. On the installation standpoint, the, uh, the existing doors and windows, as they're removed, the, everything is going to be, as Eric and Atlantic Miller and his install uh, team, that would, everything, all work would be done from the exterior. So the lifting, the product's not brought up through the building, it's, it's uh, brought up to each unit to the, from the outside uh, of the building and the units are protected with carpet runners, uh, drops and other such things, and, and the units would be in, removed and then that unit would be installed. So you're not leaving a unit exposed uh, for a week. It's going to be, the unit will be removed, cleaned up, and then reinstalled. And how long would each unit take? About, it's about a day. About a day. Very Kieran Lewis, right? Correct, yeah. Would you start paying with two? Um, no, no, we would not. We would uh, we would set windows and doors, um, but we would not do the cement work. So basically, if there is uh, when the unit comes out, if there's it's determined that work needs to be done, we would stop and document, and then get in touch with the parties and make everybody aware of what's going on. We can provide interior separation from the outside. Yeah, we can. We would be able to do as if there was something like, if we found damage, we would probably set up a zip wall or use um, plywood with gas getting on it. We've done that before in buildings that needed um, abatement done. We've uh, separated uh, the interior and exterior with, with plywood with various gaskettings on it in the same opening. How much of a pullback of carpet so forth do you need? Do you do the pullback? Uh, we would pull back just a minimal amount. The door itself sets in the exact, it's it's actually the frame dimension of the units that are there, so it's going to sit in the same location. So it's four and a half inches wide. Yeah, it's actually a little bit wider than that, so our cock joint is going to be, uh, it's in the same wall conditions. We don't, we're not a six inch depth, we're about five and a half, so that half inch that they were talking about with the chamfer on it, we don't need to do that. We're going to be Putting a caulk joint right at the end. You pull of that back wall. the carpet. How how far back do you need to have cleared? That's what I mean. We'll have about four feet. We'll probably protect that carpet. We probably won't pull back four feet of carpet. That means that's four feet less that has to be kicked in. If there's some if there's some kind of damage to your carpet tack or something like that, we can address that. We can address that then. And then if there's tile, I think the units that I went actually had some tile, and I saw some hardwood floor also. So. Uh, that means you, we don't have to cut anything back. I mean, the, the less interference that we have on the inside, the better. What kind of a barrier do you put while you're doing the construction? Um, typically what we want to do is demo a unit and install a unit. So the barrier would be a new door. Uh, if we find damage, then we would have to worry about... Yeah, but normally there wouldn't be any sort of a barrier. She's thinking like a simple thing. Would you do like it? Typically, no. Typically we would just do a demo and then install a new door. What about the damage? Well, you'd have to move things back inside so that you wouldn't... They need a four foot. Yeah, we would need about, you know, about, about four feet. 
everything's going to be slide to the same plane on the inside. So your finished wall condition is going to remain the same. Where have you guys done installations of this type of door around here? We did uh, the, the Lewis um, Children's Beach House in Lewis was done with all Marvin uh, windows and doors. Um, we, there's not a, we don't have done the carousel or anything like that. Can I, can I make sure I understand? You're proposing a materially different approach and design. When you say French door, it's going to have a big wooden sill there, right? You got it. Yeah, it's, it's going to have a very different view than what very different. Absolutely. It's a very different yes. appearance. So aesthetically, and this is going to be wider. Absolutely, it's, it's going to be a different look. Right. Aesthetically, you may not find our solution your to be your solution. Um, what we want to do is just present it, what we can offer you, and you make your selection accordingly. But we just wanted to offer you what we can do. Yeah, you brought brochures, obviously. On what page is the one that would look like out? Yeah, uh, we'll, we, we'll provide. Oh, you want me to? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it would just be helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, that, that's no problem. Yeah, that's just fine. tell us, just us what page. Just tell us what page. Right, right well, let me yeah. tell you. <laughs> Marvin makes a lot of brochures. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And actually, one of the things I would encourage you to all 23. Okay, page 23. Is, is look at our Thank website, you. our interactive website, because there's it's really uh, <coughs> one being green as well as being the latest updates of what's available, including uh, what's available for if you would consider, uh, for example, the interior blind. It's just a, it's an, an aesthetic op offering that is a nice. Uh, Things as well as offering privacy, it can help control your solar heat gain if you choose not to use a higher uh, low E coating. Is it is a type of um, uh, is a as other manufacturers have related. It's a co metallic coating that's applied to one of the interior space piece uh, glass, glass surfaces. Um, we offer what's up to uh, low E three sixty six, which is often used coastally. Again, that's something that's a higher price option. I think what was called in your spec standard was a 20, uh, 272, which is our standard low E coating. Um, sometimes uh, on certain exposures, uh, you would want a 366 because of high rate of, fatigue, of, of fade of carpeting, paintings, or anything valuable like that. David, uh, on the fixed window pieces, is the bottom part that eight inches high as well? Correct, yeah, it would look, so it's all a uniform look, so when we replace the door, they're going to look the same. Well, can you point out to that, that they can actually paint or stain the interior? Correct. Yes, and, and the interior could be individually, according to the occupants, uh, they, could, they could be totally, they can be ordered uh, uh, such as bare pine pre, or, or primed, or actually we offer pre-finishing, but we it allows anyone to finish the interior to whatever uh, they would like to match their interior decorating. Um, the, as far as uh, just going along on this, the, as far as the pitch you. and addressing the pitch, that's actually a beautiful thing to have a pitch because you want water to naturally uh, pitch away from your unit. Uh, so actually what it's a, just to achieve through it, uh, the units are set level, plumb and level and square. And it's utilizing shims, as other manufacturers indicated. The idea of that is you have shims, a pan, and then you have a clock sealant uh, to prevent water getting up underneath the door unit itself. And, and all, uh, I'm actually a member of Construction Specification Institute in Philadelphia. One of the real challenges that everyone, whether you're all aluminum product <coughs> or like us, they are all facing the same challenges and actually starting to flash their units the way we have recommended for years is what's called a weep system rather than a clock barrier system because what's happening uh, is you can have the high performing uh, window unit or door unit, but then if the clock fails, uh, then you end up with a mold issue. Um, the, as far as the, again, your warranty is one year on installation. Uh, sliding, the window sliding doors are 10 year on the unit. Glass is 20 year. The metal frame uh, is, and finish on that is 10 year, and the screen is 10 year. Uh, maintenance, like I said previously, is uh, you really we used to advise that they quarterly hose down you know the units. That's no longer a requirement because we are finished, as I said, in a non one mile uh, 
distance from the uh, waterfront, Marvin now has their finished warranty 20 years out. Uh, so what's happened, their performance has gotten to the point where they don't no longer say that you have to get out there with a garden hose every, every three months and wash it off. Um, again, Children's Beach House, uh, Belmore, uh, Belmore Hotel in Rehoboth you've done work on. And then uh, as far as occupied buildings, the type of installation, for example, what our product allows is, uh, for example, we did work at Legislative Hall in Dover, Delaware, fully occupied buildings. Uh, the project started six months, six weeks behind schedule, and due to product and, and uh, some sharp installers actually finished that two, two weeks ahead of their original projected and targeted schedule. So um, the, these guys on their installation, uh, you know, you would have a first class, they're, they're a top-notch dealer for us, and they, they are local. So literally, if there are issues for a unit, uh, you know that they're locally available, as we are with our own service team. Okay. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, you said page 23? Yeah, right here. Yeah, one's up on top. Yeah. Right. No, it's the one on top. Mm -hmm. Page 23, yep. Yeah. Okay. Can I just go on page 4 in the lower right? Is that the same door or not? Page 4. Yes. yes, page four on the lower right, yeah, that's the same. Page four? I mean, that is, that's uh, showing an OXO operation. Um, ours would be single. Uh, oh, and then close to Correct, yeah, we would use the same configuration that you have now. So in our two bedroom units, we would change, we would be changing the configuration of our sliders. Now, all the, all oh, right the, now, we, we have an X, O, O, X, O. There, so if we go to this, you're talking about a French door, which is X, X, and then three O's. Now, the, the, the French door, what they mean when they say French door is it just has a larger bottom rail. So the configurations are going to remain the same. We're going to have um, assemblies. So each one of these, uh, units are going to be filled with two door frames with panels in each. So in the six panel um, units, which I believe are the one bedroom units, right? They're one bedroom. One um, bedroom is five, five, and also the two bedrooms are five. three and two doors. Okay. And the three bedrooms are six panels on one side and a five door. on the other. Yeah, right. Five and six and two. Five. Right. And so five within the each five, five doors. Each one of them is going to have a, I'll call it a mole, where these two frames come together. And wherever we have a mole, we're going to have a piece of 3 8 inch flat steel with a clip. So this exterior on the frame uh, has a kerf in it that allows us to be able to snap these mole covers, for example, this inside. Right. They're smaller pieces, but there are, our system where they actually, the, these different various size mole covers can either be scribed or uh, and these snap in with a weather seal so that it's actually uh, totally watertight. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. It is kind of finished also. And um, so, like I said, we may you know uh, we just wanted to present what we can offer you, uh, whether we're the solution you pick. Uh, but if we're available for any questions you might have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.